you want to get an overview of the data in an Excel file, going through all the worksheets one by one would be too tiring. Wouldn't it be great if you could create a summary sheet instead and get the summary of multiple worksheets in a single worksheet? Hello everyone, welcome to Excel Demi, your day-to-day -day Excel and VPA tutorial helpline. This is Hadiul Basher and today I'll demonstrate how to create a summary sheet in Excel. For this video, I will use Microsoft Excel 365. This Excel file includes the marks of students in four levels, level 1, 2, 3, and 4. And the subjects are Math, Physics, Chemistry, and Economics. And each level consists of three terms, term 1, 2, and 3. I will create a summary sheet using this dataset. In the first example, I'll calculate the subject wise total marks for all the terms and all the levels. To do so, I'll use the group sheet technique. To calculate the total marks of math, go to cell C4 from the Home tab in the Editing section, click on this Auto Sum icon. As a result, you can see that sum function has appeared in cell C4. The sum function will return the summation of the predefined data range. As the number 1 argument of the sum function, I will select all the level worksheet. So go to level 1, press shift and click on the last level that is level 4. You can see that level 1 to 4 is selected as the argument of the sum function. Now to choose the marks of the math, select cell C5 to E5. In this way, cell C5 to E5 is selected for all the worksheets. Now hit enter and this returns the total marks of math. To calculate the total marks of other subjects, you can use the autofill feature. In this way, you can get the total marks in a single sheet. One thing to note that the process is dynamic. This means if you change the value in any sheet, the corresponding total marks will change automatically. For example, the total marks of math is 1054. If you go back to the level 4 worksheet and change the mark for term 1 to 90, hit enter. Now go back to the group sheet worksheet. And you can see that the change is reflected automatically. In this example, I'll use the consolidate tool to create a summary sheet. To do so, select a cell where you want to create the summary. In my case, I'll select cell B4, move to the data tab. On the data tools section, click on this consolidate icon. This opens the consolidate window. As the default function, you will find sum and in the reference field, I want to include all the mark sheets. To do so, go to level 1, select the entire dataset, and in the reference field, you will find the selection. Now click on add to add the reference. You can see that the reference is marked in the worksheet. Similarly, go to level 2, and you can see that the entire mark sheet is marked automatically, and you will find that in the reference field. Now click on add again. This adds level 1 and level 2 in the all reference field. Similarly, go to level 3 and click on add. Go to level 4 and click on add. As the top row and the left column are data labels, so from the use labels in section, check top row and left column. And I want to create a link to source data, so check this option. Finally, click on OK. You can see that the summary is created. Now let me format this worksheet a little bit. Click on this icon. Let's autofit all the columns. Now change the alignment of the cells. Select the cells. Move to the Home tab. From the Alignment section, click on Bottom Align and Undo Center Align. You can add borders to this dataset. Select the dataset. From the Home tab, in the Font section, click on this border icon and choose All Borders. The Consolidate tool has returned the term-wise total marks. For example, the total marks of math in term 1 across all the levels are 340. To get the breakdown, click on this plus icon and you will find the breakdown. The marks in term 1 for level 1, level 2, level 3 and level 4 are arranged in a sequential manner and you will find the name of the workbook in column C. To get the breakdown of the other subjects, you can click on these plus icons. In this way, you can use the Consolidate tool to summarize multiple worksheets. In this example, I will use the pivot table feature to summarize level 1 worksheet. First of all, go to cell P4, move to the Insert tab. From the Table section, click on Pivot Table. This opens Pivot Table from Table or Range window. As a location of the pivot table, 
Cell B4 of the current worksheet is selected. As the range of a table, I'll select the entire level 1 worksheet. So go to level 1 and select cells B4 to E8. Click on OK to create the pivot table. And this opens pivot table fields. I'll check subject, term 1 and term 2 to create the pivot table. You can see that the subject is added to the rows area. Next, click on term 1 and you'll find term 1 in the values area. Finally, click on term 2. You will find the grand total of level 1 and term 1 in cell C9. Similarly, you will get the grand total for level 1 and term 2 in cell D9. If you want to get the average instead of the summation, click on cell C9, go back to the values area and click on this drop down icon. Choose value field settings. This opens the value field settings window. As a summarized value field by section, you will find different available options. In my case, I will choose average. And in the custom name section, you can see that the name is average of term 1. Finally, click on OK. Here, you will get the average of term 1. In this way, you can use a pivot table feature to summarize a worksheet. In the last method, I will create the hyperlinks to all the worksheets in this worksheet. To do so, I will use the VVA code. To write the VVA code, first I need to enable the developer tab, move to the tab ribbon, right click on any of the tab and go to customize the ribbon. This opens the Excel options window. From customize ribbon section, in the main tab options, check developer. Finally, click on OK. You can see that the developer tab is enabled. Now from the code section, click on Visual Basic or press Alt plus F11 to open the Visual Basic window. This opens the Visual Basic window. I want to write a code that will work on all the worksheets of this workbook. So I need to write the code in a module. So first of all, I need to insert the module. Go to the Insert tab, click on Module. And you can see that Module 1 is inserted. Now let me resize this code window to get a clear view of the code. I have copied the code from the article. You will find the link of the article in the description box. I am pasting the code by pressing Ctrl plus V. Now let me briefly explain the code to you. The code will loop through all the worksheets of this active workbook and will check if the name of the worksheet is same as the current worksheet, that is the VVA worksheet. If this is not the case, then the code will create a hyperlink to the first worksheet in the active cell that is cell B4 of the VVA worksheet. Then the next cell that is cell B5 will be activated and the code will run on the second worksheet of this workbook. In this way, the code will create hyperlinks to all the worksheets except the VVA worksheet. Now you can run this code by clicking on this play icon or press F5 in the keyboard. You can see that the hyperlinks to all the worksheets are created. If you click on a hyperlink, that will lead you to the corresponding worksheet. For example, if I click on level 1, you can see that I have been directed to the level 1 worksheet. In this way, you can use Excel VVA to form a summary sheet with hyperlinks. I have demonstrated the step-by-step -step guide for creating a summary sheet in Excel. Hopefully, you can apply this knowledge according to your requirements and convenience. You can download the practice workbook from the video description to sharpen your Excel skills. Feel free to leave any questions, suggestions or feedback in the comment section below. You can go to exceldb.com to read our Excel blogs. Or you can share your Excel related issues in our ExcelDB forum and receive free solutions. For more content like this, make sure to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching our video. Bye.